Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I Keshwani. Today we'll have our 98th lesson in our series of vocabulary words, day number 98. The first few words actually I have, three or four words that we have, has to do with being being brave, being bold, being courageous having a lot of courage. Let's look at the first one. The first word is hardy. Hardy. What does it mean if you describe somebody as being hardy? If you describe somebody as being hardy, it means someone it means someone who is who is rugged, someone who is well built, someone who is strong. It can also be used to mean someone someone who is courageous or brave. Someone who is someone who is Entrapped. Entrapped is a word that we learned on day number 24 in our vocabulary series. On day number 24, we learned the word entrapped. Just type in vocabulary words, day 24, and you'll see it there. Entrapped means exactly what it says there. It means to be courageous, it means to be bold, it means to be brave, to be bold, to be bold, to be courageous, to be brave, to be daring, to be daring, to be audacious, to be audacious. Now the thing that we need to understand here is that the word hardy is many a time used to describe not a person, not a person, but a thing. Sometimes for example, sometimes, where can we put it, sometimes if I have the room here to insert everything here, let, let's start right in here, so that so that we we have more room here. Sometimes a plant or vegetation is described as as being hardy. What does it mean when you describe a plant or a vegetation as being hardy? It simply means it is hardy because it is described as being hardy because it can survive it can survive in harsh conditions. It can survive in hard condi harsh conditions, very harsh conditions such as extreme cold weather, a plant that can that you can uh, that, that can thrive in the Arctic tundra, a plant that you that can survive in Alaska, something that can thrive in Alaskan weather. Well it's hardy. It can survive in extreme cold weather. Similarly a plant or vegetation that can survive and that can thrive, that can that can uh, that can uh, live in say a desert conditions when it's 110 degrees outside all, all day every day. That's a very hardy plant. That's a very hardy vegetation. Something that can survive in very harsh conditions. Because it can survive in harsh conditions, we describe it as being hardy. Hardy. Hardy plant, hardy vegetation. So it can be used to describe a person, as I said, or a plant, or a thing, or an object. Let's learn this word, audacious. I want to learn this next, audacious. Right here. It's an adjective. An audacious 
you're not going to use it to describe a plant or a vegetation, it is used only for, to describe a person, because it simply means, because it simply means to be bold, to be bold, to be fearless. If you show no fear, you're brave. You are brave, you are bold, you are fearless, you are audacious, you are daring, you are courageous. You entrap it. There is that word again, entrap it. As I said, we learned it before. Entrap it. It is an adjective. Audacious is an adjective. What's the noun of audacious? If someone is audacious, one who is audacious is said to have, is said to have what? What's the noun of it? The noun of audacious is, O dash E T Audacity Audacity Now listen carefully to what I have to say next, okay? Audacious in most cases in most cases carries a positive connotation carries a positive connotation it is used in a positive way when you're describing something uh, not something rather but someone in, in, in a positive uh, light Every once in a while the word audacious or audacity is used with a negative connotation with a, with a negative connotation. Let me give you an example of where it might be used the word audacity with a negative connotation. Say for example your, bo your boss, you, you walk up in your boss or boss's office and ask him to give, give you a raise and the boss will tell you uh, are you kidding me? You're asking me for a raise? You have missed you have missed three days last month. You were absent three days from work you have never showed up for work on time. Never once you have showed up for work on time. You have missed three days for work last week, last month, and you have the audacity. You have the audacity to ask me for a raise. So here it is used in a negative way. You're being, you're being bored. You're showing a lot of guts. You're being fearless to walk in there and ask for a raise. But here we are using it in a negative manner. Another word that is used. Uh, another word that is more appropriate to use in this context where, you, where it carries a negative connotation all the time is the next word that we're going to learn and the word is we need the room. I need to raise everything because we need the, need the, we need the room. And the word is Temerity. Temerity. Temerity is a noun. And temerity means you're behaving in a bold way, in a, in a fearless way, in a courageous way, but in a foolish manner, in a, in a, in a, at a time and a place when it is not appropriate. It's not always appropriate, it's not always proper to behave in that bold full, and, and, and uh, forward way it's not proper this is not the time this is not the place and if you do that that's that's called temerity that's not that's not audacity audacity as i said most of the time is used with a positive connotation every once in a while it can be used and you have to figure out from the context whether it's being used in a negative manner but temerity always carries a negative connotation it carries a negative nuance it means to behave it means to behave in a bold or audacious manner manner but but in a foolish way as I said when it is not proper when it is not appropriate it is not the time it is not the place to behave in that manner and if you behave in that uh, cocky bold manner then that's that's the, that's the matter that's not audacity it means to it means to have it means to have foolhardy, is how you say it. Foolhardy is misspelled. I don't know how I managed to spell foolhardy. Managed to misspell foolhardy. It means it means to have foolhardy disregard of danger 
or or appropriateness you do not care for whether or not it's appropriate whether it is proper when you disregard the dangers that are involved in it and you do it something in a foolish way well that's just thing that's just showing temerity that's not audacity that's just foolish boldness do you understand when you when you disregard the dangers that are involved as i said or when you disregard the appropriateness of your action you do not ask yourself whether or not it's appropriate for me to behave in this manner at this time at this place when you disregard the appropriateness or or propriety propriety let's learn this word next okay propriety is the word that we want to learn next on top of the page pro pri pro pri o e t propriety it's a noun it's a noun of what it's a noun propriety it's a noun of proper proper is an adjective you gave me a proper answer your behavior was very proper your behavior was proper your behavior showed propriety your demeanor showed propriety Do you understand it is a, it is a noun of proper everybody knows the word proper is a simple word but ask somebody to give you the noun of this word and they sometimes will have trouble the noun of proper is propriety it just means a state of being because it's the noun of proper obviously what else is going to mean state of being proper or correct do not confuse this word it's very important what i'm going to put down next if you're going to use this word do not confuse do not confuse this word with which is also a noun with proprietorship which comes from the word proprietor pro pra you see they have the same the first two syllables are the same pro pra e or oh, three syllables are the same and then ter proprietor 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 which is a noun which simply means owner and therefore proprietorship proprietorship means ownership let me rewrite it properly it means ownership proprietorship don't confuse the word proprietorship with as i said propriety propriety is a noun of proper proprietor is an owner owner of a business owner of a firm owner of anything who is the proprietor of this establishment who is the proprietor of this business i would like to speak with the proprietor i would like to speak with the proprietor of this establishment i have a problem with my last order my last order was not proper i don't want to talk to a manager i don't want to talk to a worker i would speak i would like to speak with the proprietor himself or herself proprietorship ownership proprietor propriety don't confuse the two do you understand while we are at it let's learn one more word while we are at it let's learn one more word and the word is let's put this on the top or oh, maybe not proprietary 
which is the adjective of the word, which is the adjective for pri e to be proprietary. Proprietary rights, proprietary rights are legal rights. I should not have tried to squeeze everything in the bottom here. Just put it on the top. Proprietary rights are the legal rights bestowed or conferred on an owner. Bestow is, is the word. Bestow is the word. Confer. Confer. To confer or bestow a right or a privilege or a title means to officially give it to somebody. He was bestowed upon a title, an honor, a position. Here, you bestow, you confer certain legal rights to a person because he happens to be the owner of the business, he is the proprietor, he has certain proprietary rights. He has certain proprietary rights, he has certain legal rights to the name of the firm, to the trademark, whatever it might be, to the royalty, if you, if, if, if you, if you created something, if you created something and you are the owner of it, you have the you have the copyrights and therefore if somebody were to use it, they have to give you royalty because you hold as the owner, as the proprietor, you hold the proprietary rights to that product, to that name, to that logo, to that slogan, to that video, to that song, whatever it may be. Again, one more time, don't confuse the two words, propriety, which means to behave in a proper manner and proprietor, which means an owner, proprietor, proprietorship. That's all I have for today. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.